Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna chain the wheel knuckle assembly on my E46. Um, the reason I'm changing is the because when I uh, do the installation of the BC coil in my car, um, the 18 uh, bolt was snapped off from the steering knuckle when I try to remove it because it's totally rusted and I keep unscrewing it and just snap off. I should have, you know, use a PB blaster to, uh, you know, loose it up before I just keep continuing uh, turning. But uh, anyway, yes, it's too late. It's been snapped off. So I did order a new uh, bolt from uh, the MW dealer. It cost me like 17 or 18 dollars for that about this long 18 millimeter bolt I think like an M10 or M12 I don't remember exactly yeah so and here let me show you what it what I mean I just went to a uh, BMW uh, you know junkyard I don't know they are specialized with Mercedes and BMW yeah I just bought this so what I'm trying to say here is right here you see this uh, thread right here? It will snap off. So I re-tap it, and I guess I didn't tap it correctly. I did check the, you know, the bearing, make sure the bearing is in good shape. I didn't hear any squeak. I didn't hear any uh, noise or anything like that when I turn. So I test all these thread bolt too. They are in perfect condition. They all perfectly fine you know so I just need to clean it up a little bit um, should be good to go yep and it does come with this uh, I guess it's a brake sensor right here so I don't have to uh, just remove my existing one out Okay, guy. Check it out in my window. Look at the hole is a little bit bigger than the the nut. I mean, there's a ball itself. That's why I didn't thread it really nice at all. But that's a that's a problem right there. So the whole uh, wheel uh, steering wheel knuckle assembly is just drop off from the from the shock here, from the coil over shock here. So it was good thing that I was at home and uh, working on the car instead of driving and then, you know, when you go on a bomb or something like that and the car kind of lift up and this thing just drop off from the coil assembly. <laughs> it's a good thing I caught it. Oh, all right, that's what I'm trying to do right now, guys. That's what it is. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do after I take out the wheel to remove the whole wheel knuckle assembly from the coil over I need to remove the caliper so there is two bolt I think the 18 millimeter also right here two caliper down here there's two of them um, you know what let me turn the wheel to the driver side so I can uh, see this better this better to be back okay here's the two bolts that you want to remove the caliper first this one right here uh, I think there's 18 millimeter also and also down here too right there so that will take out the whole caliper assembly out and then just hang it up here with the shock coil assembly using a coat hanger to uh, put it up there so it won't stress out all these cells fluid line okay let's uh, remove this
out. Right. So it will straight up the brake line. And right now since the caliper is out, the next step is I'm gonna disconnect take out the rotor. Now to take the rotor out there's two Allen wrench here. Yep, these are five millimeter um, Allen wrench. The rotors come off. There you go. I'm just gonna put the screw back in here so I won't lose it. Just to let it sit in that position. Put this aside. Now I need to take this out. Alright, so I can still can remove this out. My uh, impact. Pretty cool. This is the stud I just put it on. Now, I'm going to remove the brake uh, sensor. Here, this one I uh, bought, it came with it, so I don't need this. I'm gonna disconnect this one. Come on. Okay, just pull it out. Disconnect on the bottom here. There's a little clip here. Just push it in and disconnect it. Okay. And here's the brake line right here that connecting to the bracket. So remove that brake line from that bracket. Sorry, it's hard to see. Let me turn the light on. It's right here. So I just show you how to remove that. You just slide. You just slide. Okay, just. just oh, I just slide out. Okay, see, see how it is, both of them is slide out from the bracket, this is a brake sensor, I mean this is a brake sensor, you just slide out from that uh, bracket like that, come out and also this is the brake line, it just also slide out from there too, so all you gotta do, now the next thing is to unbolt this, which is 18 and sorry for the caliper here these are 16 millimeter bolt so I already take out the caliper and then the next thing is to remove this right here this bolt here I think this 18 also and also on the other side which is right here on the knuckle on the, on the steering knuckle right here on, that's also this, this one, and also this one, which is right here. This right here, from the arm, and then we'll just take it out. 
So let me turn the wheel back to the passenger side so I can access to. Well, right now I'm gonna remove. Let's remove this one right here. Let me uh, spray the PB blaster first. Make sure I didn't snap off the bolt again to be safe. Here's my uh, PB blaster. So I'm gonna spray onto the bolt joint right there. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a while, maybe a minute or two. Let it soak in, so it's easy for me to turn it to loose it up. Releasing the bottom um, steering knuckle uh, attached to the, the arm first. See how I use the jack here just to support so the arm will not drop down. So that's a another safety then I'm just gonna hit on here make sure this thing's come out so I'm gonna leave the nuts here and then I'm gonna turn the wheel to the passenger side and I will unbolt that one right there Next one, I'm gonna unbolt this guy right here, which is from the steering rod. So I already spray the PB blaster. Hopefully, it come out nice. I have to snap off that bolt again. Okay. 18 millimeter, same thing. Yep. Now, the third one is this uh, 18 bolt pinch between the coilover assembly. This is easy to take it out because it's, it's loose already. That's the purpose to replace this uh, steering wheel knuckle assembly. This is what I'm going to take it out. This is the one that uh, gave me an issue because it did not grab this between these two knuckles to hold on to the shock assembly at all due to the, uh, the thread was it's too big or it's not correctly threaded. So I'm going to remove that one right now. easy to come off because the thread did not really hold it so it's just a couple of turns I can just remove by hand and it should be like that I 
that's why when I put the wheel back on with all these jacks supporting on the bottom, this whole thing just drop off like that. Yep. See these bolt here? Cost me $18 at the dealer. That's crazy. You should go to the junkyard and get this for free. Okay, so let me, uh, well, I'm going to put this later. This bracket here, make sure I put it back. That's to hold the brake fluid line and the brake sensor. So, okay, so things should come out now. Let me go down the Jack here. You can see it's already coming down just because of support by the jack here. I'm just gonna slowly let it come down. Now it's coming passing the coil assembly already. I mean the coil over assembly. So, yeah, just use the jack to support it. Don't let this thing just drop off like crazy. All right, so now that I get, get the jack to support, let's try to take this off from the... All right, take this. I think I got the... Hit this and make sure you just hit on the steering wheel knuckle assembly here not onto the bolt okay because the bolt has a little uh, this bearing down here somewhere like that the bushing you don't want to hurt that just kind of hit here just to uh, hit it just shock it out Alright, I finally took the, uh, the steering wheel knuckle assembly off from the tie rod. This one's kind of pain to get off, this guy here. But this guy here is oh, it's very easy. Just a couple of wax with the hammer. It came off, drop off easily, but this guy here take me a while to uh, get it down so for some reason I don't know why but uh, look at this look at the boots it's ripped already so I need to replace as well and uh, so that's the next DIY I need to do the rod end steering wheel and you can see my boots was already messed up too already uh, torn apart you can see that so yep that's the next step it's the next process you know these cars you got to maintain these are common um, maintenance that you need to replace since this car has a uh, hundred 105k mile on it, so these things uh, need to be replaced. All right, in the meantime, I'm just gonna put my uh, uh, steering knuckle assembly back on. This is the one I'm gonna put it back on, and this is the one that I just took it off. It's a pain, but as you can see here, here's a thread that I'm trying to uh, re-thread it again, but uh, it's it's bigger than the, the bolt, so let me just see. Let me uh, get the bolt and show you what I mean. Okay, here's the bolt. 
that mount from this side and go through it and you can see it went through with the thread but it's not really snug because uh, the hole when I try to take out those uh, broken stud in there the hole's getting bigger and then I re try to retap it and it's getting bigger too so this one's not really tight it's snugly you can see the bowl is a little bigger than the thread right there it shouldn't be like that you should have just go in with the, the thread see that's why I'm replacing so next time guys if this thing is that bolt on that knuckle is too tight to remove just use a PB blaster to lay it on okay use the PB blaster To spray it before you uh, try to remove that uh, bolt because or else it's gonna snap up on you but luckily on the other side on the driver side it did not snap up on me I, for some reason anyway yep that's it so let's go back and uh, put the one that I just got it from the BMW uh, rack place it Okay, let's see. Okay, I need to replace that. This thing's still okay. So, I have to remove my existing brake sensor here because mine only have two pin in there. Um, right there the pin I'm not sure you can see in the camera here but it has only two pin and the one that I bought they have three pin so most likely I have to remove this brake center from here and uh, put it back onto the I mean well not called somebody okay so here's an Allen wrench it's a five millimeter Allen wrench I'm just gonna release that and then kind of pry this out it's stuck in there but you need to do some get a flat hat screwdriver and pry it off to take it out right now it's kind of snuck in there so I'm just gonna use this pry tool here just kind of go under in between these are plastic so you gotta be careful gently do it a little bit at a time you know it will come out Kind of go through every corner of it. Camera, there you go. It's start to come out now. Okay. All right. Come on. Okay, here's your sensor. So I'm going to put this into the one that I uh, got it from. Uh, the, oh, that's mine because mine, uh, look at this. Uh, this one, blue and it's blue. They are both the same. Should, they should be uh, the same color. And the one that I bought from here is gray. That's why this one have three pin in there and the one I have here is only have two pins inside so it worked for only two pin and the color is different too see this one's gray and my original should be blue so it should match so I have to replace this so I don't know why it's one of them is gray and one is blue and one of them with three pin and mine have only two pin and it's the same uh, uh, year and model so nope I don't know why but anyway I'm gonna remove this one out 
and put my uh, glue sensor back on. So same process using a five millimeter hex. Okay, now let's put the steering knuckle back in. Um, let's try to line up these with the um, end rod and this one with this arm here. So I'm going to use this jack to help support raising up. up it I think it's the same thread but it's different design the one on the with the arm suspension you have the, the flange a little shoulder flange okay now I'm gonna use the jack to kind of help supporting Check it out in my spindle. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, where that 